Good day guys, it's Prince and welcome back. But right now, we are going to be re-reacting the very controversial BL series called The Alter. Now, from my understanding, ano uh, nakita ko siya on YouTube that it's a new trailer, na kumbaga the full version of the trailer. But before we start, I just want to tell you I've already watched 1 minute or 45 seconds of the trailer the other day because I thought that it was going to be another version of the trailer. Pero, but from what I saw in my understanding, uh, they have retaken the whole series. Like, when I looked at the first few seconds of the trailer, you could see na bago yung setting, there are more characters, there are new characters. So, from what I could understand, this is a whole new series compared to the one that they teased last uh, Christmas. So, na natin patagalin yung intro. Let's just start with the review. So guys, like I said in the intro, from my understanding, this is a whole new thing compared to what they teased us no Christmas. Kasi when you look at it guys, from the setting to the characters, talaga may mga bagong factors. Tapos, if I'm not mistaken, medyo parang nagbago yung story niya. I'm not really sure, so I guess we'll find out. So just like my past video guys, uh, we are going to be criticizing this uh, trailer or this series with the following aspects. First would be technicalities. Ito yung cinematography, yung audio engineering, or just any visual or audio aspects of the film. Next would be the narrative. Is the plot understandable? Is it engaging? Or is it effective? Third would be the acting. Uh, yung characterization or yung mastery ng character, yung pag-deliver ng dialogues, and yung effectiveness ng actor role. Last would be the impact. That's very self-explanatory. So if you want more of this, don't forget to click subscribe and follow me on my socials. I am Hate Spins on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Disclaimer guys, I'm doing this video to review this trailer as professional as I could. I'm not here to bash anyone. I'm personally not really keen on supporting the people in this production. However, this video is about criticizing the series and not the people in it. So if you're expecting me to base it on my personal opinions or views on the cast, you're watching the wrong review. But if you want to see how I view the series on the multimedia art aspect, then keep on watching. Without further ado, let's play the trailer. Start. Ah, my parental advisory na. Oh, ibang iba. Mas light yung approach niya. Okay, boss. Anong second yun? Okay, honestly, for the first 29 seconds of the trailer, it looks amazing. Like, 10 steps forward from the last trailer. When I say excellent filmmaking, this is what I mean. Ang ganda nung pagka cinematography nung first few seconds. I hope it leads on. I hope na hindi pa asa yung first, 39 sec uh, first 29 seconds na yun. Because so far, it's good. Magiging ikaw ako. Magpapanggap kang ako. Ano? Ikaw ang magiging girlfriend ni Nathan for five days. Ay, babe, tara na tayo sa room. Ba't bigla naman tayo alis? Tara na tayo sa room. Let's go sa room. Hindi mo pwede halikan si Nathan. Bawal kang makipaghalikan. And lastly, hindi ka pwede makipag-sex. Dahil. Alam mo ba, Sarah? Okay, pause. So guys, if you remember the last trailer, binanggit actually doon ni Sarah that if he wants to have sex, go for it. But now, binanggit niya na bawal gawin. So, uh, right now, it's clear to me na binago nila yung buong series. And honestly, just from that aspect na they have to scratch up a whole finished series and repeat it because of the reaction ng mga tao sa content, that's actually something that I would applaud to. Kasi para tanggalin mo yung buong tapos na series just to recreate it into something more uh, respectable or preferred ng mass, that's something that's really impressive. Um, and as a multimedia artist and someone who has experience making a short film before, no matter how small your short film, pang school man yan, or something much bigger, budget is really important. And to para ulitin yung isang buong series from scratch, that's sobrang laking budget ang pwedeng mawala sa inyo or pera. Nainggit ako sa'yo nun. Remember kung paano ako pag mabalit sa na ni Dad? 
and I am trying myself to be a man. For me to be your sister. Ayan, ayan. Ikaw na dito sa Sarah tonight. Dahil ang pagbibig ako. Kaya, kailangan mo na mong katawa mo, ha? Tuhod ka sa akin. Follow me. Oh my God, this is... This actually looks promising. Oh, I love you, Sarah! Oh, <laughs> sorry, di talaga marunong umarte yung lalaki. Lagi ka naman support na sa akin. But book no eh, actually. And now I'm strong enough. Dahil si nanay mo ako na mag-isa. Binibente na rin iring bahay. Ganun ba? Oh, ang tinaw ng transition ng son doon ah. Kaya niya naman palang gawin yan eh. Oh my God. Ang ganda. I like the emotion na nabibuild up dito. Uh, except for this part. But so far. Yeah. Oh, po siya para tumayo ulit. I'm not sure if... Okay, tapos na ba? Wait, how is this BL though? Honestly, I'm not even sure if it's the same production house yung gumawa nito, pati nung last one. But this is so much better. It's ten times better. Although the, the leading guy, Nathan, uh, I stand by my statement last um, react video, he doesn't know how to act. Okay, not all influencers know how to act. But we'll go there later. So I think that confirms it that this is totally a, a new series from what we just saw. Let's jump right into the review. Okay, first of all, technicalities, cinematography. Oh my god, what the hell? Kaya niyo naman palang gawin yan. Ang ganda ng cinematography. Like, I am beyond um, surprised and amazed kasi napaka professional yung cinematography niya. Although there are a few lapses, pero wala. Wala ako masabi. It's just 10 times better than the first one. Even better than some of the BL series that I liked. I'm, I'm impressed. But um, audio and sound engineering, actually, actually medyo muffled pa din yung pagkaka-record ng voices nila. But at the same time, it's not like last time na parang nilunok na yung lapel na di na maintindihan. This is actually five times better. The lighting naman, finally inaisa nila. The last series kasi I think they were going for a much darker approach. Um, I'll just post some stills here from the last trailer. Pero but mas maganda yung lighting ngayon. Um, yung pinili ng bahay, maganda yung natural lighting. That's actually a good decision. Pati compared last time, na napakadilim ng bahay, ito maganda. Madaming glass, madaming bintana, and hindi mo na kailangan mag-effort para sa lighting. Although, you could really see na kahit yung lighting pinag-effort na nila dito pinag-isipan. Next would be the narrative. So, I'm not sure if nagbago sila ng director. Kasi sobra magkaiba yung direction ng first one dito. This looks more like a family-friendly series. It's something na pwede mo mapanood ka sa aming pamilya mo. Hindi siya katulad ng dati na parang ilang kembot na lang porn na. Pero ayun nga, um, the narrative is actually, personally, yeah, it's very engaging. Kasi makikita mo na yung story, hindi siya about love life like nung last time. Hindi siya about a relationship. It's more on family. From what I could see, malalim yung story niya and I want to know more about it. Kaya, is it engaging? Yes, definitely. Honestly, yung acting ni Buknoy sa first trailer, I wasn't really impressed. It was okay. Uh, nadadaling yung character, pero it's not really a hard or a very a complex character yung sa dating trailer. But from what I saw in this trailer, actually, makikita mo yung complexity ng character ng magkapatid to a point na parang may intindihan mo yung pinagdadaanan nila. And I appreciate that so much more kasi nadadala ni Buknoy. However, I wouldn't say the same for the one na gumaganap kay Nathan, na not all influencers can act. Because um, that acting, if that man was on my stage like a year ago, I would have thrown him out. 
I, I, that's the type of acting that I don't like. Yung parang pinipilit kang umante sa harap ng camera. So parang yung negative lang when it comes to the acting, natatabunan ng acting book no yung partner niya. And I'm also surprised na may na-add na mga bagong characters, which is actually nice. Kasi, kasi mas lumalalim yung familial aspect nung series. Um, last but not the least, impact. Compared to the last one, this has more impact. Although if I'm being honest with you, if ito yung una nilang nirelease, um, there wouldn't be that much impact. Pero dahil yung una nilang ginawa, eh, sobrang layo at sobrang bumaba yung expectations natin mas gumanda yung impact nito. Parang napatunayan nila that they could make something better or they could do whatever appeals to the mass. Um, kasi, first of all, yung title na alter, the term alter kasi, it's already a term or a connotation that is very familiar to the gay community. So, alam mo yun, may expectations and from what we saw on the first trailer, talagang, alter talaga. Pero ngayon, I don't see any of that but at the same time, I don't think that's what they mean by alter. I think, alternate buhay whatever although that doesn't mean alter that's actually change and not alter what kung ano may ginagawa nila pang palit pero I don't think they mean this in a sexual way anymore uh, which I would upload to kasi guys imagine nyo nirestart yung buong production just because of the bad feedback from the mass I really respect that. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I actually really enjoyed the trailer and I'm looking forward to the series mismo. I appreciate na hinabul nila yung time. Um, but if you want me to react to more BL series, go ahead and comment down below on which re react or review that you want to see next. Of course guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment. And of course, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. And last but not least guys, do not forget to hydrate and sanitize. Bye guys!